What's up, everlasting friends? And if you're new, welcome to our journey. Today's video will be 10 different ways that you can deal with your anxiety. And I'm not saying that all of these will work for you. If they do, that's great. If they don't, then maybe somebody else on here has a video that has something that you need. It would still be good for me to put this video out in case it can help somebody. So I wrote down 10 things. Some things have helped me, some things I haven't tried, but maybe if you try them, you'll have good luck with them or I'm, I guess that's the right words for it. But yeah, it'll help you. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing that you can do to help and deal with your anxiety is breathe breathing is so important because you get all up in your head like you're worrying so much and like it's like you forget to breathe you need to take time and just breathe because it'll really help calm you down well at least it helps calm me down but yeah keep breathe slow just breathe slow so that you can get a good pace going and hopefully it'll help calm you down a little bit but well, it should calm you down because, yeah, it should calm you down. Even if you don't really realize it, it should help a little bit. The second way that I have is to write. Personally, for me, sometimes when I have an anxiety attack, I like to write down like what, like what I'm thinking about and stuff like that. Like I have a book that I try to write in. I try to write in it every day, but sometimes I don't because I just like be forgetting but yeah I think it's good for you to like write it all down and like I used to think that I was going to like write all my feelings down and then return like releasing all that stress and stuff like that so I think I will write it down and then tear it like it can't affect me no more but I never really did that and I actually found one of my letters a while ago but I kind of like move past it like I don't think about what I was stressing about or worrying about anymore another way is to listen to calm music I'm sure you can find music on YouTube or any music that you feel like calms you down but that will be a nice way for the help you deal with it just you listen to calm music because music affects your mood a lot and maybe that'll help you calm down maybe make you distract you from whatever you're thinking about and hopefully that helps number four talk to others it can be you have anybody that you trust in basically or if you don't trust in nobody or you're not ready to you can find it's like these apps and they have people who who are in a similar situation as you they like just want to talk to somebody but they don't know how I forgot the name of one of them but you can even be anonymous and explain and it'll be people there to like comfort you and like tell you like what they think you should do so there's a couple of them out there you can download them and try them out but I would still encourage you to talk to somebody like like face to face because that will always be your best option so this one might seem like a weird one but for me, if I'm having an anxiety attack, I will cry. And I think that sometimes that that's actually good because you're like, you're letting all those, you're letting all your feelings out. And I just think that's a good way. Cause like sometimes we all try to like stop, like prevent ourselves from crying. But I think that sometimes you might just need to do it. And it'll help you a lot because you're like you're letting them go instead of help having them build up so yeah I think that is another important way to help deal with your another one that I do a lot is I like to be by myself especially like in, in these cases or like when I'm mad I like to be by myself because like I don't want everybody around because then I'll get irritated so I'd rather just be like in the corner by myself or sit in my room and stuff like that this one I looked up but I can see how it can help you and it's like to exercise and I don't really think I have to go into too much detail about that but 
You can try exercising maybe for like 10, 15 minutes a day. And maybe that'll help calm you down a little bit. Get your head out of whatever you're thinking about. Number eight is to go to your comfort zone. So for me, my comfort zone is in the kitchen because I love to cook and bake. So I could put my attention on that instead of whatever is going on in here. So yeah, whatever your comfort zone is, whether it's drawing, singing, dancing, whatever, just do that because then you have something that you're that that makes you happy to do instead of thinking of something that's causing you worry. Number nine, try to go to therapy. That is something that I haven't done, but I wouldn't not try it because these are professionals that will really listen to you. And I think that it's good to have that professional mindset to help guide you through whatever you're going through because they might understand something that you're failing to realize. My last, my last way to deal with anxiety is to find something that makes you happy. So anything that makes you smile, anything that you can think of that puts a smile on your face, that would be really nice because again, you're getting away from whatever is in your head. Well, you'll, ne you'll never get away from it but you can help, you can overcome it because you can't just forget about something. It'll always be there, but you don't have to keep on worrying and worrying and worrying about it. You can move past it because nothing can hold you back for but for so long. It'll only hold you back if you let it, let it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will. I hope these helped you, first of all. And if you have any other ways, please, please leave them in the comments below. And because they maybe help somebody who's afraid to ask or something like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.